Well, we've got an update here. Yes, uh, definitely a situation where we're assessing damage today and an ongoing weather situation here across the Gulf Coast. Um, Chief Meteorologist Jason Smith here with Meteorologist Michael White. Meteorologist uh, Matt Barentine is in the house along with Meteorologist Jennifer Lambers as we've got full team coverage here, uh, which is going to go down as one of the most memorable or more memorable landfalling tropical systems that we've seen in a long, long time. And it's going to go on up there uh, as you look at the last hundred years or so as probably Probably a top five system. So Sally wins at 100. This is this is terrible. I mean, we were hoping for a better report. Lower winds, a faster forward speed, higher pressure. Now we're not seeing any of that. Wind sustained at 100. And it, looking at how shot there. I mean, you see. I mean, he's on the north side. He's getting the northerly winds. He's on the west side of the system, and it's just rocking out there. Mobile's the same way. Movement north northeast at three. Pressure 967 millibars. So Sally is still maintaining itself as a significant and a very slow moving hurricane. Slow moving storms are the worst because they amplify the magnitude of the impacts. The wind blows for twice as long as or even longer in this particular case as an average storm, which would be coming in at around 10 to 15 miles an hour. The track does show that it should continue to lift to the north and uh, we have it across the northern sections of the panhandle by the afternoon and you can see what's predicted that with the center now over land instead of over water, we do expect it to begin to rapidly deteriorate in the integrity of the hurricane, which is great, and that by the time it gets up into the inland spots, it will be a tropical storm by around midnight tonight, and it should be pulling a lot of the rough weather out of our area. We have a long ways to go before it's safe to go out and clean up and get out on the roads. The roads are very dangerous right now. A lot of deaths occur in tropical systems when we're getting back out there too early in the wake of a tropical system, and this is likely going to go down as a deadly hurricane. I mean, it, it, fortunately, the worst of it came in the middle of the night where a lot of folks were sleeping and weren't out driving around in it, but now we're in a very vulnerable time, but you can see the situation with our live picture there. There's the core of the so, uh, you think that looks bad? That's right here, okay? And the radar echoes while there is some struggling with the composite reflectivity, not nearly as intense with this section of the storm. I mean, just historically, if you cut the, the storm into quadrants, you got typically what is the worst weather in the northeast quadrant. That's going to be right here from cantonment all the way north of Pensacola here uh, back up towards Molino. This is the worst of it and we can't even get pictures here because it's so extraordinary. Uh, most of the pictures we've been able to bring so far have been more over into Mobile and Baldwin County and uh, the situation's actually improved in a lot of those spots. Now it's still getting it pretty good right now in Gateswood, but wrapping back around on the Fairhope side that's the northerly wind and the western flank of the system. Okay, what, what Michael has pulled up right here is definitely the area that's getting it the worst. And it looks like from Pensacola, uh, that's the eye wall right there in Pensacola. And if it's lining up with what the hurricane center is saying that we still got wind sustained at 100. Pensacola is getting every bit of Sally right now on top of the 20 inches of rain they saw last night and the winds leading up to this. So this is going to be a devastating hurricane for Pensacola as far as tree damage and also freshwater flooding. Uh, as we look at it, the mobile area as we kind of arc back around with the radar at this point, the radar again, mobile regional is down, so we may be limited a little on the data here. A uh, live picture of an 18 wheeler down eastbound on Interstate 10. If you're just joining us here too. Uh, we just we've been checking in with 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 Chelsea on the traffic situation here and it, we've got so many roads closed. It, it's just one after another. So just go ahead and assume that there are road closures at every other turn out there right now. Not safe for travel at all. We've got uh, accidents for those that did try and uh, venture out. In fact, let's go to Chelsea and get an update on road closures in our area and talk a little bit more about this. Really what is a critical element to to this weather story is that it's just not safe for travel right now.